Hi guys, this is Raquel with paintsandglitter.blogspot.com and I do, I'm just coming to you with a quick little video showing you um, a simple pop-up card that I made with Cricut Access and my Cricut Explore Air 2. Um, this was just uh, one of the um, many cards available, pop-up cards available, and I had a lot of fun making this one. Uh, I just want to show you the image as it appears on the Cricut Access and um, Design Space, and then I'll show you how um, I put this together. Okay, so if you go to um, your screen if you're logged in, and um, you look up the cartridge which you can do by just searching cartridges and um, I like to do this just to scroll around and see which ones I haven't used uh, since there are so many. Um, this one in particular it's it's not a new cartridge but it does have a lot of um, three-dimensional um, appeal to it because they're all pop-up cards of course and so I decided for uh, I was asked to make a card for someone I decided to go with the pineapple theme I thought that was excellent so I selected that and then I just um, asked the uh, program to insert the image and I took a look at it and I already have it there so I'm just gonna X out of that so this was the next screen, this is just the, the map, um, and I needed to see, um, the reason I'm making the videos, it's more than just showing the card, I'm sorry. I needed to see how big um, was my uh, card going to be and how big of a paper could I use for my envelope because I wanted to make sure that I could fit my envelope on the paper that I had selected as well as the card. So what I did was, it, it all gets grouped together, I just went to my layers tab um, here, and I just knocked it over, so let me move that out of the way, and then I can pay attention here, so sorry about moving this, but I went here, and then I just um, clicked on the image, and then I clicked edit, and then this told me the size and width and height of the image once I had, um, I'm sorry, I should go back, I had ungrouped, I, uh, it all comes selected, so I ungrouped everything um, in, on this uh, panel here, and then I went, I selected the envelope, then I clicked edit, and it told me the measurement there, okay? So I decided, okay, that's a good size once I, you know, fiddled with it and everything. Um, and then it also allowed me to see what the, uh, using the grid in the background, what the height and um, the width would be for the actual card, which looks really big on the screen, but I knew, for instance, that each one of these panels, which is where I'm going to be writing the sentiment, because this pops out of the middle, this is the inside front, and the inside back of the card. So this particular part here is, is just purely for, um, for you know, the decorative part of the card. So I looked at this, and from looking at the mat here, I can tell that this is only about three inches worth of writing space, which is fine. Um, but I also can tell from looking at the grid that it'll be about three and a half inches tall worth of writing space as well. So um, despite having all of this cut out, none of that can actually be used to write on the card. But in my case, that was a big enough surface. So I went ahead and clicked cut and I selected my papers for my project as such. I just so happened to have this awesome paper with pineapples all over it. So this was really my inspiration here. And um, so I went ahead and made the envelope with this, which I absolutely love the way it came out. And then I decided, okay, then let me use these colors as my inspiration for the card. So I went ahead and got out two pieces of paper, and this is just regular cardstock. Um, I cut out the green background of the the pineapple in this color. This is exactly the same paper. And then the inside of my card I cut out in this lighter cardstock. 
Um, and the great thing about the Cricut is, of course, that as the mats, uh, you get the preview for cutting, which I'll show you here. You know, you can just um, so click up here to cut. Once you get your preview, see, you first see your envelope. Uh, you can, um, there's a button here that you can fiddle with. So the if you have directional paper, just as I did here, I went ahead and changed the direction of the cut so that I would get my images horizontally like this, even though if I had cut out like this, it would have been fine, but I wanted the pineapples to look this way. So that's another feature that's really great about the Cricut is that you can, you know, feed your mat with the direction in which you know you want your paper to cut, and then you uh, press go, and um, it'll score everything. For some reason, the Cricut Air 2 does not score as, we as well as the Air. I don't know why. It's just not deep enough of a score, so I'm hoping that's something that they fix, but mine doesn't. I've heard of other people having the same issue, but it's okay. I have a Martha Stewart scoreboard, but this was the second image that cut out. So you see this is the outside of the card, and then this is the inside, and it scores right down the middle. It also scores here and here. So, once you get that cut out, and then this only scores in the middle, and everything else is cut, uh, once you get it out, you, you take it off the mat, it looks like this. This is the green. So, in order for it to not be a boring green piece of paper, okay, started off with that, I decided to highlight all of the, um, the cuts, all of the edges. Uh, this is where I have fun because I, I like design so um, I went ahead and drew the um, the score marks as if it were the pineapple the same as it was on this paper here. So that made it easier because you know of course there's a awesome reference there. Um, but I went ahead and also added the pink here to highlight that and if you see here, you can even fold them out, which I thought was a lot of fun. So that's the back of the card. This is the front. I just made a little banner with a piece of paper, and then I cut this out with a die that I have. I added um, liquid pearls for the little dot there. And then I use my recollections. Let's see here. What is this? This is a marker, opaque white marker. In snow and I used the opaque marker in hot pink those two and then I also use black ink for everything else um, so all I had to do was score that middle line there I also used a green um, marker for uh, it's very subtle I used two different color greens there for that just to give it shadow and then the yellow paper Again, only scores in the middle there. Um, and I just went ahead and drew a heart there. And then the rest, I used the purple, um, matte, ink, white, black. Um, and I just did the little dots there rather than doing the excess because I didn't want that to, um, to be too busy on the inside of the card. And then I just popped out all of these as well. So this is a really fun card. I, uh, and then to glue it, um, you're basically only gluing the that large part there, and it just it matches exactly. And the same here. Okay, so you don't glue the center obviously because you want that to be able to fold, and it folds like so. And that's it. I think this is a beautiful card. It's very um, it's got high impact, I think, for, you know, I, I would put it on a table. I mean, I think it's adorable, but I had never cut it out before, and I decided, you know what, I like it so much, let me just go ahead and put it on my blog, and that way you guys can see it, um, and just, I don't know, get inspired, but, and I love this paper, so I think the person who gets it is going to be wondering why on earth, 
um, they're getting an envelope with pineapples all over it, but that's part of the appeal, right? Um, but anyway, this was a lot of fun to make. I hope you guys like it. If you have any questions uh, or any challenges for me, please, uh, I welcome that. Um, I'm loving all the interactions on Facebook and on the blog and everything, so um, let me know what you think or how you've used this cut. I'd love to see your projects as well, and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.